Hey everyone, this is the best show in town and this is Tinat Adifa Masood. Well, let me tell you something. Um a lot of people call me by many different names. I remember when I went to Canada, uh, there was someone who said that you better not have this long name on your lapel. You better have just a short name, maybe Tina or Tinat. I was uh skeptical because i like my name tina tatifa masood it's uh, tina is my name atifa is my mother's name and masood is my father's name so i love all these three names which are attached to my personality the persona that i am and i feel really really great about having this name well but that's another story what i wanted to tell all of you today is that uh, today morning i read um a kind of a story it was yeah it was i was reading a book and then the story popped up in the book and which is really nice i really loved the story in fact it was about motivation many a times you know we are so demotivated by many things and that's when if someone pushes you or something pushes you or uh, there is that uh, one incident which happened in your life which now motivates you to towards your goal towards that ultimate uh pinnacle where you want to reach so i think yeah the uh, in fact why i wanted to speak about motivation was that today i met a friend and he hadn't been doing any exercise for the last um, couple of months i think a year or so and he was he was really putting on a lot of weight and i was worried because he's so young and i did not want him to fall ill under any circumstances and i didn't want him to fall ill because he was not doing any physical exercise so i kind of kept persuading whenever we talked i would tell him when are you going for your exercise are you doing a walk could you just not simply do a walk on the steps could you just maybe um, do a couple of sit ups and you know i used to keep i used to keep telling him and uh, today he told me that you know <laughs> I have been doing so much of exercise and I am able initially he was thinking that he would not be able to run because he had not he had not been doing any kind of physical exercise for quite some time and then he had this feeling he had this block in his head that he would not be able to do any kind of jogging or running or jumping or anything of that sort because when I told him that um to heal my body i did a lot of exercise even when the doctors were telling me that i was not supposed to do a lot of exercise i continued doing my exercises no matter what happened even if it was raining or there was a hailstorm or the sun did not rise on that day <laughs> i still i'm just joking on that but then i just kept on with my exercise and then like in my previous podcast i've i've told you that i had lost around 15 kilos i think um i need to i need to work more on that because my target i was 85 i came down to 70 and now my target is actually 63 but then you know there are friends who say that oh my god if you become so thin we will not be able to recognize you but it's not about becoming thin or fat it's about fitness and if there are things which can motivate you to get into the fitness regimen then there is nothing like it because to be fit as a fiddle and a get on with a healthy lifestyle is very very important because if you do not have a healthy lifestyle if you do not do the things that are essential for your body then your body is going to give its way uh it's it, it's going to give away one fine day and you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to say oh heck why didn't i do all that exercise so now my friend is doing his regular exercise he goes to the gym in the morning at around 6:45 he wakes up at 5 o'clock i mean someone who was sleeping till 9:30 and now wakes up at 5 o'clock he does his meditation and he goes to the gym he works out there he does now around 35 minutes of running and jogging and push-ups and pull-ups and leg exercise and all kinds of things and i'm so happy that he is doing that because i wouldn't like to see him going through a health trauma 
because he did not do any exercise and exercise is so important no matter what physique you have even if you are thin fat tall short whatever you are but if you can actually do your exercise there's nothing nothing like it because doing your exercise it should be your primary target and uh, you should be able to um do a lot of things till you are breathing your last you should not be uh, a person who sits and is not able to get up because of the weight and you should not be a person who is not agile who is, who does not, who has movement problems who has knee problems of course knee problems and all those things come with age but till the time no don't 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 get it this into your head that because i'm aging i am going to get a health problem it does not happen like that if you can work with your head if you can give this message to your brain that you are going to create these goals for yourself these health goals for yourself where you are going to be absolutely fit as a fiddle till the last breath of your life it is possible don't think just because you are of a certain age just because you become 40 you become 50 you become 60 and oh my god i have become this this is my age so i'm going to i'm going to die one fine day it doesn't happen like that there are people in different parts of the country who has never thought about death who have just gone about their lives happy as a as a, as a bee happy as a butterfly happy as a bird without any thought of death in their minds and these people have lived up to 130 40 50 and they are just living they are doing their work they are of course the environment in which they are living uh, it, it it counts a lot because they are in environments which are friendly for their health they are not in a polluted area they are not in a polluted atmosphere they have a very healthy surrounding they are concentrating more on 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 nature instead of uh making money <laughs> yeah there are people in finland and denmark recently i'd seen a watched a video where people are happy and they're living a fantastic life because they're not running after money they are running after goals which will make them happy if you can start creating goals which will make you happy from the inside then you have a life of bliss i know that if you are happy with what you have and if you're happy with the things that you have been gifted with and you are grateful for that you have a lot of gratefulness inside you you can be the happiest person on earth this is true i mean i'm not saying that this is not not a, or not science or some rocket science that i have created it is a part of nature it the way nature creates people it also says that you can be happy with me nature says you can happy be happy with me provided you don't destroy me you don't harm me you don't let any fatal things happen to me but um uh, if we go against nature you know nature will turn against us you've seen in the past you've seen incidents where nature has you know gone against us because we have done things which are terrible the last covid pandemic thing that we had and we had to stay home all the time is enough proof that we have gone against nature against our environment against the universe and we have gone against the very the very thing that gives us life so let us start thinking let us make goals which will you let us create goals in our life which will make us happy from inside and we, let us not just run after money let us not just say that okay when i have a billion dollars i'm going to be super happy and when i have a billion dollars okay have those billion dollars it's not a sin to wish to have a billion dollars but is that going to help someone else are you going to be able to help other people is that b- those billion dollars or billion w- that a huge uh, property or whatever you have is it going to help other people ask yourself
These should be the goals of your life, goals to live with nature happily, goals uh, to create happiness for others, goals to make the world a better place to live in, goals to um goals to basically be happy and make other people happy i think that's what our goals all of our goals should be like we should all be happy and uh, of course there can be problems but the inner side of you the peace that you might, that you create inside you is very important and how you do that is through meditation through exercise through uh, doing good for others by being grateful by being thankful early in the morning and getting up and telling the universe thank you you have given me another day you have given me another beautiful day to breathe this beautiful oxygen by loving people and by loving animals and loving every little thing that exists every living being because when we kill we kill a part of nature we kill that which we cannot recreate the creator of the universe has created all these small little things which we where we need to coexist and if we kill then nature will turn against us sooner or later let's remember that and uh, i'm going to end this on a happy note by saying that i love each one of you you're going to ask me again why you say that that you love each one of us because uh you you don't know us yeah i don't know you sure but then what's the harm in loving you i just love all of you seriously i and i hope i meet you in this journey of my life and i hope i'm um going to make you happy and i hope you see the happy me when we meet and on that happy note i'm going to say bye bye and i'm going to see you soon i love you all so much